Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another special video today. Today we're going to be going over what does your class say about you. Keep in mind that this video is all a bunch of jokes. I don't want to see no angry comments, but I'm glad to bring you the 2024 edition of this video. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first task we're going to start off with is Scholar. Scholar, you're the kind of guy that thinks you're really smart and you have to let everyone know that you're really smart. But in actuality, you're just mid and actually kind of unimpressive. Because people who play this class, they don't really know how to play the game. They don't know how to get CCs and they don't know how to actually initiate fights. The only thing they know how to do is just rotate super armors and not get grabbed because the class is just so desinky that you think you're really good at the game. Even though your passive carries your whole class. So with that... I'm going to give Scholar a uh, Tom and Jerry meme graduating. Even though the class needs some buffs, the class really just needs protections taken away from it. On to the next one. Okay, now moving on to Wusa. We had a whole year to actually digest and see what we actually think about this class. Wusa is one of the most free classes you could possibly be. So you're the kind of guy who expects everything given to them and actually expects the game to be played for them, expects PvP to be winnable, expects your AOS matches to shower you in elixirs of deep sea. You expect everything. Wusa gets carried just because they play Wusa. Just solely because a lot of people want to play this class and everyone thinks that this class is good because it's actually really good. And I'm going to give Wusa... A kid hanging out the fan because the class is carrying you like a child. Thank you, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, now, Megu. It's practically the same thing as Wusa, but I'm going to add on a little bit to it. Megu, you need friends. You honestly need friends. This class basically screams, I am lonely and I need an, a copy of myself. And if that doesn't work, you can just summon a dog made out of paper. So, honestly, Megu, you just need to find some friends, dog. I'm going to give you, you know, this this meme right here. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking about it. Yes, this sums up Megu perfectly. But honestly, you need to go out there, go to Kama Sylvia 2, make some RP friends. You just need a, some social interaction other than with yourself. Other than that, let's move on to the next one. Warrior, you're the kind of guy that sticks to the classics. Even though there's 27 classes in the game, I may be wrong, it might be more or less, but you decided to stick with the most basic class in the whole entire game. Granted, you guys got buffs this year, but it just allows you to play DDR in 1v1s. Other than that, your class is still kind of like, you don't know what to do, so you're just confused all the time. And honestly, Warrior, you need to play a more interesting class, so I'm just going to give you very confused and uh, very ruminating Kermit. Um, so yeah, next next one, next one. Okay, now let's go on to Ranger. Ranger is one of my most hated classes, me personally, so I'm about to roast you really hard. Ranger, you're the kind of guy that picks a class expecting to be a bow person, okay? And you play the class and you understand that this class isn't a bow person at all. It's more like an assassin. So you know what? You just bend over and you just accept it because the class is strong. And then you become even more evil and more evil. Spamming iframes, spamming that. And then to the point where no one wants to fight you 1v1 in BA. So you just think you're the god and you just think you're the, 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 the number one guy that just beats everyone in 1v1s. And then whenever you go into Nota Wars, you think you're good too because you have ranged damage. And everyone else has to go there and slap people in the butt with their hands. Meanwhile, you're just there laughing at everyone while you rain arrows on them. You're the kind of guy that likes to play a class for a specific reason and then just goes with the flow. And honestly, I don't like Rangers. Rangers, I don't know, man. I'm just going to give them the same thing I gave them last year. Weenie Hut Jr., but I'm just going to give it in reverse, okay? So there you go. Weenie Hut Jr. backwards or upside down. Now let's move on to the next class. Okay, so now let's move on to Sork. Sork, honestly, it's either you're on Kamas Tevia 2 looking for some RP++ or you actually play the class, and you actually are very competitive in PvP, and you are honestly the only class that I could go into BA1, trying to learn a new character, and I still get caps locked and smack talk on in general chat. So, Sork, you're the kind of guy that just loves to be a keyboard warrior, so I'm just going to make sure that you are the keyboard warrior by actually making the meme of you just typing in all caps locks, because honestly, when I went to, into BA1 last week and I fought one of you guys and you were genuinely losing... I, I saw the caps lock button go off, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, bro, I've never seen a Sork not talk smack in general chat. On, now let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, so now Zerker. Zerker, everyone keeps on saying Zerker is really good, so you're the kind of guy that rolled to Zerker because everyone keeps on telling you that it's a really good class. And you also saw a couple of people fighting in PvP on Awakening Zerker, and you thought that looked really cool too. So you're the kind of guy that tried it out, realized that Awakening Zerker isn't for you, so you picked the easier option of playing Succession Zerker, and then you're just kind of okay with just hitting the right-click button and doing nothing while you sleep at your keyboard while you grind uh, centaurs for a million hours and get a billion silver. It is one of those classes where you either could put in the maximum amount of effort and be a tryhard and look kind of cool, or you could just look dumb as hell as a little wolf furry guy. And honestly, people who play Awakening Zerker, they get my seal of approval. People who play Succession Zerker, go 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 talk to Danny. And with that, you guys, I'm going to give Zerker a, a Danny DeVito wrestling meme out of Danny DeVito. Thank you. Okay, moving on to DK. DK, it's either you're on Kama Sylvia 2 looking for RP++ again, if you know what I mean. But, honestly, this class has a meme of being a wheelchair class. DK players always compare themselves to a wheelchair class. Honestly, I don't even know if it's just because they're too lazy to walk, because the class is that strong, or is it because they really don't want to learn anything else other than the iframe way? You know, we should just put DK in its own separate category of just being in perma iframe where the class doesn't exist. So, I'm going to give DK a meme of guy in a rocket-powered wheelchair out of a guy in a rocket-powered wheelchair because this class is broken AF, but they say they're in a wheelchair, so we're going to make sure it's a pretty damn good wheelchair. And with that, you guys, let's move on to Hachacha. Okay, moving on to Hasashin. Hasashin, come on, dude. You just want to play ninja. You're the guy that's stalled ninja, and you don't like the stigma ninja, so you're just going to play a lesser ninja. Just play ninja already, dude. Stop lying to yourself, dog. You're too funny, bro. Honestly, yeah, just play ninja, dog. That's all you gotta say. Pocket sand Naruto out of pocket sand Naruto. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I was lying. We're not moving on to the next one. I'm gonna roast you a little bit more on Hasashin. Honestly, just roll the ninja, dude. Ah, got him! Okay, Nova. Nova, this class, no one recommends first because, number one, everyone kind of forgot that you existed and this class existed because this class is kind of boring to play. But if you actually play the class, this class is very strong and the people who know that like to abuse the ping system. So if you have good ping, you play this class. And you know you have good ping because you're obviously using exit lag, huh? Because Nova has a lot of desync and they take advantage of the tick system in BDO. So with that, I'm going to give Nova a cheating SpongeBob out of a cheating SpongeBob. You want to see me do it again? Well, no, because I want this class to lose a couple of movement skills. Please, for the love of uh, PA. Moving on to Sage. Sage, honestly, you were going to pick Witcher Wizard, but you were smart enough. You saw into the future and realized that Sage is stronger than Witcher Wizard. And you still wanted to go to Kumbaya mode and cast spells with your fingertips. And you decided to land on Sage because Sage is the OP caster out of the whole game. You want to catch this guy? You can. He's in another dimension. He's behind you. He's in front of you. He pulls a Robert Downey Jr., uh, Doctor Who, or whatever it is you know, gobble goo on you, and you die. And you know what? The class also has a grab. So you're the kind of guy that wants to look good because, you know, Robert Cat Downey Jr. is kind of good looking, you know? But you also didn't want to play a weaker class like Witcher Wiz because they only have TPs. You got it on lock. This class, you just want to play a very OP caster. And with that, I respect it. And with Sage, I'm going to give you Robert Downey Jr. and Tropic Thunder out of Robert Downey Jr. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to Corsair. You're the kind of guy that just likes to be a pirate, but honestly, there's really not that much pirate stuff in BDO, so you kind of just want to, like, make up your own fantasy about being a pirate. Also, you do complain a lot about getting grabbed through your passive. It's not that hard to grab you. Just move a little bit better, you guys. Don't complain about it. Be smart about it, boy. But other than that, Corsair, you just want to RP as a pirate. That's all you want to do. You want to be out on the sailing. You want to be out there killing sea monsters. You also want to be a sea monster yourself, but you just break blocks instead and just, you know, you're, you're just there doing nothing in the background, just shooting water at people. It's fine. You like to have fun. I'm kind of glad I don't need to fight against you guys a lot in the BA. And honestly, have a good one, you guys. That's a very wholesome kind of class. Really not. It's just a class that no one plays. Okay, moving on to Drac. Oh my god, just hurry up and nerf this class already, dude. I'm so tired of this class being OP. Those of you guys who play Drac, you only play Drac because you know it's strong. You know you want your free elixirs and AOS. You know that you want to kill people without trying too many things. You know you want to heal up in the middle of everyone while taking a shit ton of damage and it getting reduced because you have a really OP skill. You know you want to jump in the middle of everyone free outside of render range without being contested because your class is just that strong. Drac, 
I give you guys a nerf gun out of a nerf gun. When are they going to nerf this class? I don't know. Probably never. I don't know. And then they still have the audacity to think they are hot potatoes whenever they do anything that gets more than one kill. But with that, you guys, let's just move on to the next class. Okay, moving on to Guardian. Guardian, you're kind of like the class that I would recommend children to get, you know, recommended to. You know, just leveling up from Roblox into BDO. I think this will be the perfect class for all those two-year-old gamers. Because, number one, you really don't got to do anything to do anything with the class. To be really good at the class, you just have to hold, like, two buttons, a W key, and probably, like, shift. And throw in a right click every now and then, right? But Guardian... You're the kind of guy that likes to move in slow motion because your class is just genuinely slow unless you know how to play it, which not a lot of people know how to play the class. And you like to see other people get slowed because literally 90% of your skill kit slows people. So you want everyone else to endure the same pain as you. You're the kind of guy that, that likes to roll a thick dummy mommy that likes to slow everyone around them. And then you basically do nothing out about it because people do not know how to PvP on this class and they just play the class just to hold down Shift W and right click. With that, you guys, I'm going to give you guys Kanye West Roblox character out of Kanye West Roblox character. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so moving on to Wizard. Wizard is that kind of class that you wanted to play a good caster class, but you couldn't decide which classes were caster. Like, who knows, looking at the keyword Sage, that that class is also a caster. You wouldn't know, so you're just going to stick to the classics. You pick Wizard, because obviously the Wizard casts the damn Blizzard. But other than that, you just are one of those guys who think that, yes, I'm going to play a support character, I'm going to help out my team with buffs. No, BDO is not the kind of game. So you kind of just stuck with it, because it has a lot of stuff that helps out the team. Speed spell, PA, and you're the guy who likes to get targeted all the time with a bunch of uh, pins and needles, because everyone's trying to run at you in a PvP scenario and try to get you killed. And honestly, I don't think people have the skill level to deal with 20 people running at you at the same time. So you just kind of stick with it and you kind of just want to be the menace to society, but only in group PvP whenever you're holding hands with everyone else. So I'm going to give Wizard a magic cat out of a magic cat. Okay, moving on to Witch. Witch is the same thing as Wizard except with boobs and it's a girl, right? But witches also like to talk about why their hair clips into certain outfits than others. Instead of actually talking about what does a class actually need to be a good class. I'm talking about you, Blue Squadron. So, but with witch, I'm going to give witch Blue Squadron out of Blue Squadron because Blue Squadron knows what's good about the class. The hair doesn't need to clip in certain outfits. Yes, we need to fix that immediately, PA. Let's do it. Okay, moving on to Ninja. Ninja, you know you're the number one 1v1 class. You know you're the class that can 1vx. You know that you can pull off a Michael Bay movie scene. You know, you know, you're the, you're him, you're him. Usually the number one pvp -er is a ninja. Oh my god, this class is so good. You know you're good. You know you have those iframes. You know you got those block jumps. You're the kind of guy that likes to go into a fight knowing that you're going to win, but you want to do it with style because honestly, you can just hit the block jump button anytime and win the fight. You can just do that. You just save us the trouble and just block jump and kill us. That's it. Just do it. Just do it. Who cares? Just block jump. You know, we know we're going to lose. But with that, I'm going to give Ninja the kind of class that he deserves. And I'm just going to give up a dude running into uh, Area 51, the Naruto run version. And honestly, another shout out to Ninja. You also need to pay attention really hard and read an encyclopedia on how to play this class. Props, but just, just kill us with block jump already, you guys. Just stop playing with us. Just, just use the block jump, please. Okay, now Kuno. Kuno, you honestly just picked wrong. You just wanted to pick Ninja, but you're the kind of guy that only plays girl classes. So if you wanted to play Ninja, you picked Kuno because you only play girl classes. And also you have a hula hoop. Kuno is like the worser ni version of Ninja. Ninja has everything. Kuno has kind of whatever Ninja got. Whatever they do. Their little spinning move. No one knows what Kunos do, but they treat you exactly the same as a Ninja. I don't know why. It's just, it just works. It just works. But Kuno, you honestly wish you are a Ninja. You honestly wish you got hit by a bus and went into another isekai version so you could gender swap into a ninja and with that i'm gonna give you anime girl and hula hoop version of ninja without the naruto run just the standard anime moe stuff and let's move on to the next one all right valkyries valkyries you're the kind of guy that likes to have really big feeds and node wars 
or in sieges. You just do your 100%, suck everyone up into a vacuum, and just get that kill feed. And you honestly feel like a big boy, a really big boy. You know, you kind of like him, you know, whenever you pop your ultimate. The rest of the time, you're just standing in block, doing nothing, and just, you know, randomly jumping on people from across the map. It is honestly the class that is, looks very boring. It is extremely boring. But another thing that Valkyries also do hate is grabs, because you just stand in block all day, they don't have that much movement, and they're so easy to grab. Just grab the Valk and show them where they need to belong on the floor without their block up. And with that, you guys, I'm going to give Valkyrie a Spongebob meme wall out of Spongebob meme wall. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now moving on to Meiwa and Musa. Meiwa and Musa are honestly about the same, so I'm going to do them together. Meiwa and Musa, people love fighting you in PvP. Everyone wants to fight you in PvP. I'm kidding, dude. No one likes to fight those classes in PvP or in general. No one just wants to PvP against these two classes. These classes will hit you once and then immediately go to the next zip code. Meiwa, a little bit less, but Musa will end up being in the next state, the next country, the next ocean. If you even try to look at them with murderous intent, they will run. They will run and they will come back and poke you again. These two classes are literally the menace to PvP. Completely breaks neutral completely outdashes you, completely outspaces you. This class is honestly meant for people who want to be the rat, who want to be annoying. They're the ones on the outskirts of, of the node war trying to get free kills because people aren't really paying attention and they think they're the sh having these high -ass, you know, kill streaks, but they're actually just picking on people who aren't paying attention or they're in another state and they're using the ping difference to, to get to them. So I'm going to give Meiwa back shots out of back shots because th that's all they do they want to get through your your frontal block and hit you in the back and musa we're gonna give musa an annoying orange out of annoying orange because honestly i feel like every single musa player is technically like this i don't know i don't know there's many content creators that you know play musa but i'm pretty sure this would be the the general antithesis of a mewa or a musa content trader. i don't know correct me if i'm wrong Leave it in the comments below, you guys. Okay, moving on to Tamer. Tamer, you're either two types of players. Tamer, either number one, you're a life skiller, but you can honestly just play shy. So there's not that many life skilling Tamers. So that leaves you in the other category. And that other category means you need to find Jesus. And I'm not going to go too much into that, but we're just going to end this segment short with a dude holding a cross. You guys need Jesus if you're many Tamer, seriously. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to Shy. Shy, you're the kind of person that wants to be liked by everyone without actually being interesting yourself. Everyone always flocks to you because you're the ones that give them the buffs. But these buffs, you don't get there because you don't have the gear score because gear score is impossible to get on Shy because you don't know how to play the game. And with that, I'm going to give Shy the trombone guy out of trombone guy because everyone wants the buffs, but these Shies don't want to actually grind for the gear. They just want to be there and say that they're going to eventually get to do Olin's with you, but you just keep them in your friend list for that time whenever they do get the gear score. And let's be honest, most Shies that have the gear score to be running those spots, they're tagged characters. Everyone tags a Shy in case they need to actually pull up the buffs. It's really not that hard to get replaced. So those of you guys who are playing Shy to get liked by a bunch of people, yes, you guys are getting replaced by people that actually have gear score. And with that, let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to Mystic. Mystic, you are the kind of guy that likes to fight with their feet. And I'm just going to leave it there. You know, you guys like to do feet punches and all that other stuff. And you guys like a bunch of water. And you guys like throwing a bunch of pool noodles at everyone. This class is just annoying to fight against because, number one, it doesn't do anything to progress a fight because you know you do no damage and you know you take no damage. So why are you even fighting in the first place? Just go out there and grind some mobs. For PvP, I don't know why Mystic has a suction, but they got a suction. I don't know why that doesn't count as a CC. But Mystics enjoy the fact knowing that they're tanky and they do no damage and they just want to be in your way. They love the fact that they're just that kind of class that could just eat a bunch of damage and then kind of spit out a decent amount of damage back and see if they could hopefully win the fight within the next two years before their class gets a buff again or hashtag nerfed like it did way back in the day. So I'm going to give Mystic... Pool Noodle King slash Queen, or whatever you want to call it, out of Pool Noodle King, Queen. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting confused already, you guys. Just Pool Noodles in general, man. Next one, next one. 
Striker, Striker, you chose correctly. You could have rolled Mystic, but you actually chose Striker. And I'm kind of proud of you for that, because you actually used two brain cells to make that decision that the Striker is the better one. Not because it's a man class. No, it's a Striker class. It's a Chad class. You do a bunch of damage, you're decently tanky, your 100% puts you in god mode unless you get grabbed by a Zerker. You, well, we, don't, we don't talk about that. And... You are just the antithesis of what everyone wants to be. You are the beaming light to everyone's soul. Just because you are the number one alpha male. You are the alpha male and you know it. So I'm going to give you an alpha male Squidward. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to Lons. Lons, you're the kind of player that's foaming at the mouth ready to engage by yourself. SEAL Team 6 edition, going in the back lines and trying to bomb everyone. Meanwhile, it's pretty obvious that we all see you flying up in the air. We, we already know it's a lawn. It's not a plane. It's not a bird. It's not, a, it's not another plane. It's a lawn. And we're ready there. We're ready to grab you as soon as you land. So you, lawn players, just chill out. Don't be him. There's no reason for you guys to dive bomb the back line. And we know that you guys want to feel strong with your kill feeds, and you're going to see it on YouTube because that class is the only class that drops a lot of montages right next to Drak and Valkyrie. And, well, probably Succession Zerker. But Lons, quit diving in the back line. We know you already. We know you're a HyperX gamer with those gamer glasses on, dog. But with that, I'm going to give Lon a, a, a stealth attack helicopter out of stealth attack helicopter. All right, let's move on. Okay, moving on to Archer. Archer, literally nothing has changed about you from the last time I talked about you. You're the kind of guy that likes to just do stuff and just get bullied by everyone. Except for in Node Wars. People actually pull up with Archers and Node Wars and actually drop a fat amount of kills. But Archer, once someone looks at you, you just bend over backwards and take it. You know, you take the Ancient Wave. You, you just basically die whenever someone looks their eyes at you because you cannot run away. And the class just basically has no turning back options or running away options. They're all bad. And you know what? You're okay with it. And not a lot of people play Archer. And if you are one of the few people who play Archer, I respect you because honestly, you're really not going to do anything in terms of being threatening. All you're going to do is just throw arrows and hopefully I don't have a big enough health bar just to run at you and grab you. But with that, I respect Archers. Archers are the kind of people who get kicked in the face and just always ask for more. And that's why I give Archer a Elmer's Glue Stick out of Elmer's Glue Stick, the purple version, not the not the regular version. So yeah, Archers did level up in my heart from Glue Bottle to Glue Stick. And with that, you guys, that's the end of the tier list. I would like to thank everyone that stopped by and watched this video. For those of you guys who don't know who I am, I'm a Zerker main, an Awakening Zerker main, and I stream Mondays through Thursdays. And if you guys want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. I don't only just do Zerker content, I just do video content weekly. So I do video content every Monday, but this time it's going to be special because I am going to be releasing this video on Sunday. And those of you guys who want to check me out on live, I stream Mondays through Thursdays around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with that, you guys, I thank you guys for watching the video. And I'm going to go to bed because this video took me a long time to make. Thank you.